What's up, Packer fans? Back again. It is game day. I'm super excited. Hope you guys are excited. Packers have to win today. It is like a must win to carry this momentum, to keep their season alive, to stay with the NFC East teams who are all 500 or above. So for the Packers, big win against the Cowboys. That was huge. Coming back, being 14 points down, everybody thought they were dead in the water and they were able to come back, tie it up, make the stop in the fourth, and in overtime, and then get the field goal to win the game. Huge, huge win for them. It just, that had to happen. And now they face a good Titans team that's 6-3, and three, leading the AFC South. I mean, they're in a kind of a weak division with the Texans and the Jaguars and the Colts. But still, they're 6-3. and three. They, they play tough. Their defense is always good. Vrabel is a great coach. And they come in Thursday night on a quick turnaround after a, a flying high victory. And for the Packers, I think this is good. I think it's going to help them. I think um, just carrying that momentum, having another home game. If they can win this one, then they get the 10 days off before the Eagles. It could be a lot of momentum for them carrying over into the final stretch of the season. This is just a big opportunity for the Packers if they can get this game. And the Titans, you know, they've been dealing with a lot of injuries. They get some guys back. Jeffrey Simmons should be back. They're an all-star or all pro basically defensive lineman. Um, he's a super stud on the D line. Roger McCreary, he's a DB. He should be back. But Caleb Fairley, he's out for the season. I think he is done for good this year. And Bud Dupree, Bud Dupree did not practice at all. And so it's going to be, I don't think he's going to go. So they have guys missing, but they still play really tough defense. That's kind of what they hang their head on the most. And then, of course, King Henry, Derrick Henry at running back. This guy is going to be the focal point of the Packers winning this game. They have to stop Derrick Henry. If they don't stop Henry, I mean, the Titans can pretty much do whatever they want. And that after that point, it's, you know, going to be tough. So you, what the Broncos did last week, though, was they got to Henry early in the carry and, you know, didn't let him get ahead of steam. And they held him to like 53 yards. They Broncos still lost the game because they have no offense. And Russell Wilson got sacked six times and and he got hit 18 times. If you had your quarterback getting hit 18 times, you're going to lose. And so the Packers, although they only gave up, they gave up two sacks and like only like three hurries last week. It was really an impressive performance for the offensive line for the Packers. You know, they're going to have their work cut out from this week, even though everybody thought the Dallas Cowboys would get after them. Packers, though, they ran the football. Another thing, the Titans have been really good at stopping. They haven't given up a 100-yard carrier or 100 yards rushing over the course of a game since week one, and so that's huge. Um, Packers, you know, they had... A.J. Dillon with over 65 yards, and then Aaron Jones had 100 and I think 38 yards. So big performances on the ground for both of those guys, and they we're going to need them to keep that going. It's going to come down to can we run the football, can we stop the run. And both teams, they average about 18.5 points a game, and the Packers do have you know the yards advantage by about 70. We're at 350, and they're about 280. So... Um, it's going to be really equally matched up. We kind of both have the same philosophy, you know, play good defense and run the football. They just have, you know, Derrick Henry. We have our two-headed monster at running back and Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. So I'm looking for A.J. Dillon to get going. He did against the Titans two years ago. We all have been talking about it all week, the game in 2020. It was December. It was snowing. Devontae Adams did have, like, 11 catches for 143 yards and three touchdowns. But A.J. Dillon outran Derrick Henry in that game. That was a huge game for him, kind of his coming out party. He had over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Derrick Henry didn't hit the 100-yard mark. He was at like 98 rushing yards for the game. So what Joe Barry said was the first thing he did was go and watch footage of that game, of how they were able to stuff Henry, stop Henry. And, uh, yeah, the footing was a little slippery at Lambeau in the snow and everything, so Henry couldn't get up to speed as quick as he wanted to. Help the Packers, of course. It's supposed to be cold tonight. It is cold right now. I'm in I'm in Milwaukee down in, in, in Wisconsin, and it is cold already, and it's not supposed to get much warmer. So by the time kickoff comes at, at night and the wind, and it's up in Green Bay, so they get different kinds of wind up there. It could be really chilly for the players and for the guys coming from Tennessee, you know, most of them don't vacation in the north. So this will be their first real cold game and 
I'm hoping it gives the Packers an advantage. Too cold, though, like against San Fran in the divisional, it seemed like both teams couldn't do anything, and it, the cold affected them, them both. Rodgers says he likes the cold, but I think at his old age, he's not as efficient in the cold as he used to be. But I'm looking for this to be a really good game. It's, it's a bummer, though, because Devondre Campbell, he's been ruled out. Um, Shamar John Charles, he's r ruled out. But David Bakhtiari... Elkin Jenkins and Randall Cobb should be good to go. And pretty much everybody else, Romeo Dobbs is still out and Eric Stokes is still out. And of course, Rashawn Geary is out for the season. So those are huge losses right there. But the defense has been playing well with Quay Walker in as the basically the quarterback of the defense. He's got the green dot in the helmet. And so he's been playing really well as a rookie to be able to call the plays and, and kind of run the defense. And he's the one that sets up the plays for Rudy Ford to pick off Dak twice last week. And you know, obviously Joe Barry caused a lot of that, but Quay's got to get get it to the guys and and make sure everybody knows what they're doing. So really big, big deal there. And getting the stops in the fourth quarter and in overtime, I mean, that's just huge. So Packers defense is riding high. Packers offense is flying high. Christian Watson, three touchdowns. Now, now everybody's expecting him to do that in every game. Well, he's not going to score three touchdowns in every game, but at least now he's a threat that can go over the top that teams have to kind of you know, pay attention to, they're going to have to watch, they're going to have to play too high now, they're not going to be able to just play one high and stuff to run, so it's it's something for sure, and then obviously you get, you know, Sammy Watkins starting to go down the field, and Lazard making big plays, and then Samari Toure, I like, you know, like what he brings to the table, and then when Romeo Dobbs comes back, hopefully it'll be after the bye, it might be the Chicago Bear game, but I'm thinking they'll stretch it till after the bye, so um, it is what it is, but at least we'll have him for the, the final stretch of the season and hopefully get Eric Stokes back. And this team could get hot. You know, they get Devondre Campbell back. So it could get hot at the right time. And if this offense can keep it up, you know, they scored the most points they have all season last week, 31. They hadn't broke the 28-point barrier all season until last week they would hit 31 points. So that's huge, especially against a Dallas defense that nobody gave the Packers credit or, you know, they didn't think they were going to win or do much against. And so now they play the Titans. Titans, like I said, sacked Russell Wilson six times last week, hit him 18 times. That's something the Packers are going to have to block up. But they did really well. You know, they shut down Micah Parsons. He had one hurry last week. That's it. And for a guy that they're saying is defensive player of the year, a guy who said that he wanted to have his you know coming out party at Lambeau against Rodgers, like that basically was a non-factor. So that's something the Packers, you know, with the Titans, they don't have that one guy really. You know, Simmons, Jeffrey Simmons, kind of in the middle, but otherwise it's it's kind of a, just the defense by you know the the whole team, the all eleven, all eleven. So. That's something the Packers are going to have to watch out for. You know, the blitzes come in and the corner blitzes and stuff. But Rodgers has seen it all. I'm not worried about him, you know, not being able to get rid of it. Or I just hope the Packers stick with the run and can run the football. That's what it's going to come down to. Can the Packers run the ball? And can they stop the Titans, <laughs> Derrick Henry, from running the ball? I mean, that's really going to be the key. But the Titans, you know, they've been efficient on, on, you know, in coverage and getting pressure. They have a lot of sacks, different guys. Obviously, like I said, Bud Dupree, he's hurt. But they have nine interceptions on the season, which really balances out with the defense they have. And obviously losing fairly is a big deal. But, you know, Amani Hooker, he's back. And they have McCreary, he's back. So this defense is going to look good. They're always prepared, always ready to go. And, you know, Packers have given up 4.8 yards per carry this season, two running backs. That's pretty high. That's almost five yards every time they touch the ball. So first down, run. Five yards, second down, run, five yards. So that's the first down every two. I mean, so Derrick Henry, if we let him get going, he's just going to demolish us. And so Packers are going to have to take it as, you know, their own little, you know, energy and just go out and get it, you know, stop them and make sure that he doesn't get going because the Broncos showed you exactly what you have to do. Don't let him get his speed up. Don't let him get going downhill and just get after them. So we'll see how they play. I like the fact that Rudy Ford will be out there. He is a lot more uh, physical, it seems, than Darnell Savage was. And then I think Abram might get some chances on the defense just because of his speed and his ability to get hit tackle as well. So um, yeah, the Packers, you know, they they just didn't they didn't hold 
they or they didn't allow Derrick Henry to get over 100 yards two years ago. So just kind of do that same formula. And like I said, it was snowing, but hopefully, you know, it's the footing is slick for the Titans and the and the Packers can figure it out. But you know, they averaged five yard or almost six yards of carry last week against the Cowboys defense that everybody said would. You know, they, their weakness is stopping the run, and we kind of just ran at Parsons. You know, a lot of those guys are undersized, so you just run at them in the running game, and you get, you know, offensive linemen going downhill at them, and they're just going to move them out of the way. So this is what the Packers need to do, just keep running the football. I think they figured out their identity. Rodgers only threw it 20 times last week. That's crazy. I mean, against the Giants, I think he threw 39, and we were winning most of that game. And then the Commanders, he threw it like 35 and we were winning most of that game. And so it's just get back to what works. They figured it out. And then if they can take those deep shots and hit guys, you know, streaking down the field for touchdowns on those plays. I mean, three touchdowns on 14 completions, that's pretty good percentage. I'll take that any day. So um, the Packers just have to keep this up. Hopefully this wasn't just like a fluke game, just like, a you know, the Mike McCarthy Bowl or whatever. I hope these guys are ready to go because if they win this, get to five and six, then they have, you know, 10 days off before the Eagles. That's a game that they can win in Philly. Philly's already been taken down, so they're not worried about the undefeated talk and all that. So that's a game the Packers can win. And you could be six and six before you go in the showdown with the Bears. So, and then you have your bye. So it's really a really, um, a big game just for the Packers to try to just, you know, keep, keep the momentum going and carry this into their bye so they can get everybody healthy and come back for that final stretch. So probably not going to catch the Vikings unless they have some crazy collapse, which is the Vikings thing they would do. So we will see. <laughs> we will see. But, you know, like I said, the Broncos held Derrick Henry to 53 yards rushing last week. The Packers just have to do that. They have to get their guys involved. And, you know, with Sammy Watkins, Wazard, Cobb's coming back. So that could be huge too. And then Watson and Toure. Just get, get these guys involved and try to get on top of the Titans early. Try to search, score points and kind of take the running game out of their game plan because we jumped on, on top of them so quick. You know, get a 10-point lead, 14-point lead early and then try to just, you know, stop Tannehill, which he's been playing good. You know, he's a guy that's mobile. He's a guy that can get after it. But I think the Packers on the back end can pretty much cover the Titans receivers. Robert Woods and Westbrook, they're okay, but I just think that, um, you know, with Douglas and, and Savage and Jair, of course, I think we can we can uh, man them up and, and play really well on the back end, and it just comes down to tackling Derrick Henry. That's what, like, the whole game plan should be, stop Derrick Henry. Of course, you got to watch Tannehill a little bit on those rollouts and some of those, you know, quarterback keepers, but just stop Derrick Henry and, and run the football. Don't turn it over. You know, if they can win the turnover battle or just at least, you know, tie the turnover battle, they can win this game. So I'm super excited. Hope you guys are super excited. Packers football, Thursday night. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be cold, and it's going to be a good one. So hopefully the Packers can get this. Like I said, it would just be huge momentum. But all right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Check out other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.